What's up guys, Asian here again with another PTS video and today we're going to be doing a little bit of mathematics so no real any sort of parses or anything like that but I will show two parses just to kind of demonstrate the mathematics behind things uh, but today we're going to be taking a look at the mathematics behind the feet versus the shadow and when you should use one over the other. There is actually a mathematical way to determine whether or not uh, the thief is going to be better for you or the shadow is going to be better for you and this does take into consideration things like if they do change the Rastlon value uh, for the shadow. So right now the shadow is worth 13 base additional crit damage. But if they decide to change it to like 11 or 10% or something like that, you can still use this formula to basically figure out when you should be using the shadow instead of the thief. So I will be swapping back and forth between uh, two screens here, so please bear that and bear with me while I am swapping them back and forth uh, on OBS. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is the crit uh, modifiers. So this is what we're going to be interested in. So basically what we're going to be taking a look at is the crit modifiers between the shadow and the thief. Now, this particular spreadsheet that I have out right now, I did uh, do two parses on ESO and I'll show you guys those in a little bit just to kind of as a proof of concept sort of thing. Uh, so all of these values are basically what I did uh, on the PTS right now. Um, so I did one parse without the thief as my Monday stone and that gives me a crit modifier of this value right here. Uh, now, remember that my spreadsheet does not truncate anything, so this is a little bit off of what the actual in-game crit modifier would be, but it is close enough that we can pretty much say that the crit modifier is equal to this value here. And so when you do add in the thief and you, or you add in the shadow, depending on whether you're using the shadow on live or if you're using the shadow um, on with in on the PTS, uh, you obviously change your crit chance or your crit damage, which accordingly affects your crit modifier. Now, when you change your crit modifier, that does mean that you also obviously get a little bit of additional damage here. So what you basically do is you compare the ratio of these two crit modifiers, uh, multiply them by 100, then subtract 100 to get the damage difference you would get with the thief. So based on these values here, when I change my Mundus from a non-thief, uh, non-shadow, uh, Mundus uh, to a thief, the thief Mundus, and I should see about a 5.9% increase uh, in my overall damage done, which it might not necessarily translate directly to overall DPS, but we should see a general increase uh, somewhere within this range here. And the reason why we can say that is because when it comes to the ability metric or you know calculating out damage for each ability. Um, the crit modifier is multiplicative. Uh, the entire building metric is multiplicative, so you have one value times a second value, and so on and so forth. So it doesn't really matter where you put that value, as long as you change that value, everything else is going to follow with it. It is not affected by anything else, so there is no additive part of it like we have with the damage done or the damage received modifiers. Um, so that's why we're able to say that uh, if we do change our Mundus from, let's say, the Atronach to the Thief, then we should see about this amount of DPS difference. So if we go ahead and hop over to ESO now, I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So I did do two parses here. Um, so the first parse I did is right here, and this was with the Atronach. So this is the non-thief parse. So I did 43909 DPS. Um, this is with Mother Sorrow and Spell Strategist and Zan. And so when I decided to swap over to the thief, obviously our DPS went up 46.274. Now, what does that mean in terms of overall DPS? Well, let's go ahead and take a look here. So I am going to swap over once again to our handy dandy calculator here. Well, second. All right. So again, we did uh, forty-six two seventy-four, and we're comparing that to our non-thief parse, which was forty-three nine oh nine. Oh, forty-three nine oh nine. Divide by forty-three nine oh nine and multiply by a hundred. We get about five point three eight percent. So a little bit short of what the theoretical uh, difference is, which again is 5.9, uh, but it is close enough. Uh, again, these, this calculator that I have on the spreadsheet is not exact because it does not round anything off, um, so it's pretty close, so we can see that obviously adding in a thief in the shadow does increase our DPS. Um, so then, how do we compare or how do we tell which one is better, the thief or the shadow, without you know filling in all these these gaps here? There is, is actually a fairly simple way of doing that um, mathematically. If we go over and go over here now, this is where the mathematics kind of uh, takes place. 
So if we allow crit chance to be equal to X and we allow crit damage equal to Y, what we want to do is figure out when do the two crit modifiers, one with the thief and one with the shadow, one of those equal to each other. That'll give us a kind of quote unquote break even point. And so when we have that ratio, we're able to tell, all right, if my crit chance is higher than this compared to my crit damage, then uh, this month is going to be better. So we have the crit, ratio, uh, crit modifier equations on each side and we're going to account for the thief on the left hand side and we're going to account for the shadow on the right hand side. Now we are assuming seven divines so you can change these values depending on whether you're running uh, four divines three infused for example. So with seven divines our thief Mundus does give us 10.6 percent additional crit, crit chance and then when we have seven divines uh, the shadow Mundus provides additional 19 percent crit damage uh, on the PTS right now so on the live server it'd be a little bit different than this. So then we just set these two equal to each other so we can multiply the y out to the other two values or multiply the x out to the other two values so we get 1 plus xy plus all this stuff. Both sides have a 1 plus xy so we can get rid of these two values here so that leaves us with 0.106y is equal to 0.19x. Then we have the ratio x over y is equal to 0 0.0106 divided by 0.19. So this is the ratio of crit chance and crit damage at which point uh, you can determine which Munda Stone is going to be better. So if we go ahead and actually figure out what this number is, number is 0.557. So let's say we have a crit chance of, let's say, even number 0.5. with 50% crit chance. And we have crit damage modifier of, let's say, we have... Um, 1.92 so 192 additional crit damage that would be uh, 0.92 basically you drop off that one so this is how much additional damage you'll be dealing if we take a look at this ratio here we find that we have a ratio of 0.543 and it is below the cutoff value of 0.557 in this instance that means the thief is going to be better than the shadow in this particular case. So this value does take into consideration that this crit, or I should say the crit chance value is without the thief bundus. So this is without the thief at all. So you can take away 10.6 if you are running the thief right now, or you can just pick a this like the Atronach or the Lady, uh, something that doesn't give you crit chance or crit damage. And then you can go ahead and calculate that out. So as we can see here, if we were to increase our crit chance, so let's say we decide, okay, let's run Mother Sorrow instead. So we have now an average crit chance of, let's say, uh, 0.65, but we don't do anything to our crit damage. So now our ratio is 0 0.706, which means that the shadow will end up being stronger overall compared to the thief. Um, so that's basically how you can mathematically determine whether the thief is going to be stronger than the shadow. Uh, typically speaking, it's easier to know what your crit damage is because there's far fewer things that affect crit damage than crit chance. Uh, so for example, um, you know, if you're a stamina DPS, uh, for instance, or let's say your magic DPS front barring Mother Sorrow, you don't have Mother Sorrow on the body, um, then your crit chance is obviously going to fluctuate a little bit here and there, but generally speaking, uh, for crit damage, there's really not that many things that are going to change your crit damage too much. There's minor force and major force, and that's pretty much it. Crit chance, you have things like Mother Sorrow on the front bar, maybe Advanced Yokeda on the front bar, uh, so at that point, that's kind of, well, crit chance is a little bit harder to determine uh, that way. You will have to do a parse in order to figure out what your average crit chance is. It's a lot easier just to set your crit damage equal to some, some number and then solve for X that way. So, for example, let's say that we are a Nightblade, we have 22% uh, percent in Elfborn, so that gives us uh, 0.92. With Warhorn, that would give us 1.07. Uh, so, if Y is equal to 1.47, then we have uh, 0.106 divided by 0.19, and we're going to multiply that by 1.07. And if we just figure that out, that means our crit chance is 59.6. Uh, we are dropping, we're rounding down a little bit here. So if our crit chance is 59.6, that means that the thief, uh, I should say, if it's lower than 59.6, that means the thief is going to be stronger. If it is higher than that, that means the shadow is going to be stronger. So that's another way you can figure out whether the thief or the shadow is better for you that way. So kind of the TLDR is if it is greater than a certain ratio, then the shadow is going to be stronger. If it is lower than a certain ratio, the thief is going to be stronger. And that ratio, that magic number is 0.557. So you just divide your unbuffed crit chance by your crit damage that you expect to get um, in a raid or in a solo parse. You get your ratio, and again, if it's lower than that 557, uh, then 
you want to run the thief. If it's higher, then you're going to want to run the shadow instead. Mathematically, yes, there is a way you can determine whether the thief or the shadow is going to be stronger. Now, the implications of this are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you take a look at the fraction x over y, if y remains constant and x goes down, that means x over y decreases, which means as you get lower and lower crit chance, the thief becomes stronger. As you get higher and higher crit chance, the shadow becomes stronger. Conversely, if we keep x constant, if y goes smaller, that means that ratio becomes larger. So the lower our crit damage is, the stronger that the shadow is, and the higher our crit damage is, the stronger the thief is. So that's kind of how you can figure things out. So generally speaking, the shadow is going to be a little bit stronger on bills that have high crit chance, and thief is going to be stronger on bills that have a low crit chance. So that is it for this video. I know there was a little bit of mathematics involved and I did kind of go over that relatively quickly. So if you guys have anything that you want me to clear up, please feel free to them down in the comment section below and I'll go ahead and answer them for you. Hopefully you guys found this video informative and I will see you guys in the next dungeon.